How do you do? Mela! Welcome back to my Archive Mate video. My name's Ego. Uh, so today, um, yeah, so I'm back. Uh, it was a long ass quarantine here. My girlfriend's dad said uh, I'm rocking the Bruce Lee right now. Kinda. Do you, do you, do you kinda see, uh, see the resemblance? Well, um, today I got another uh, spicy episode for you guys. We're gonna talk about uh, uh, Kiko and Macintosh and the line that Kiko designed, which is a 000 series. And uh, I'm also gonna showcase a couple rare pieces that I've got. One of them allegedly is like a one of three, one of five type of thing. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to show you guys that. And uh, so right now I'm actually in uh, Michigan. I know we just got used to the Boston background. You know, that was really good lighting. But right now I'm, uh, well, due to COVID-19, I was tr uh, I had to buy a direct flight back to, back to China, back to Shanghai. And uh, Boston didn't have any direct flight, so I didn't want to risk the chance, you know. Therefore, uh, it was super nice for my girlfriend and their family to let me come stay with them in Michigan. And uh, yeah, from Detroit, I can get the direct flight back to Shanghai. I already got my, I got like, you know, mask. Uh, I got, uh, you know, gloves. I even bought the goggles, you know, because protect your eyes. That's important. I got the goggles. I even got a whole face shield. I'll show you guys in the vlog later. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, so please, uh... Pray for me, you know, Koyi Sanlian. Please comment, like, subscribe, you know. I love a little support so uh, so I can keep making videos for you guys, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So who is Kiko Kostanov? Or what is Kiko Kostanov? Kiko is a brand that is absolutely the hottest right now. Um, especially back home in China. Due to the fact that I think it just like it just appeals to a whole generation. It just appeals to a certain a bunch of customers who are graduating from the high street, you know, who are, who are wearing Hyder, and now they kind of graduated. And they start wearing Kiko. It seems like a very natural process almost at this point. This also has the thanks to a lot of the, you know, the contribution of a lot of the influencers. For example, shout out to uh, Dongiri, Pongiri. Though so they were really on the forefront of uh, pushing this brand. And you know they have they have definitely successfully done so. In summary, Kiko is a Bulgarian designer who is now located in London, and after graduating from Central Saint Martins, so during the years he has worked under or with a bunch of big name, big brands. So for example, he interned under uh, Ader Throop, and he did the. Uh, 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 2013 displacement collection with Ducey, as well as the 2015 and uh, like 35 year anniversary collection, where you know he produced uh, a cut and re sewn pieces that are highly sought after right now. Uh, after that, in 2017, he he launched his own brand, uh, and at the same time, same year, he also uh, he also started designing for uh, Macintosh for the 000 series, which is what we're talking about today. And he also uh, collaborated with uh, Asus to, you know, reproduce, uh, remake the gel series that has been super popular, that always sells out. And the rest is history and making, is what we're witnessing right now. In a nutshell, Kiko's design can be described as effortless, yet complex. Many people call it a casual construction worker vibe. Uh, I don't completely disagree with, but at the same time, I believe that Kiko's design go way beyond that. So I think more accurately, we can describe it as uh, uniform with storytelling, different storytelling each season. So hence why there is a type of synergy and thoroughness throughout his collection. So Kiko likes to play with uh, likes to play with shape a lot, and that is why a lot of his clothing uh, display the structure, the construction of the clothes. For example, the triple dart uh, trouser, and many others. So his collection is always filled with fun, culturally relevant uh, accessories that enhance uh, storytelling. And he also uses a very unique color palette uh, as well as a color, com color combination that really helps make uh, the brand, the Kiko brand product more recognizable. And that is often shown on, for example, the contrast stripes or panels. And last but not least, Kiko dig into the, uh, dig into the past to find inspiration and he brings these to life by using uh, advanced sports fabric as well as uh, technical fabrics. And on the other hand, Macintosh is just such a well-known household name. It is a true British heritage brand that's been around for almost 200 years. 
So people even give it its own abbreviation for its product. People don't call it the Macintosh coat, people just refer to it as the Mac. With the weather shitty outside today, let me throw on my Mac. Well, when you have an abbreviation for your product, that's how you know you made it. For example, Jordans, we don't say Air Jordan anymore, we just call it Jace, right? Macintosh, the brand name, comes from Miss Charles Macintosh. So he is actually the scientist that invented this rubber material that transformed the coat into a uh, waterproof. So, and then of, of course there's, there's also you know seaming, there's stitching and all that stuff which they, he at the time collaborated with this company called Hancock together to achieve. But at the early stage the coat was a little bit iffy. You know it was waterproof but the materials was extremely sensitive to heat. So that means in the winter the coat would get really stiff and in the summer the coat would kind of melt and it would smell bad. Well, after years of uh, R&D, they were able to improve that. And finally, they were able to supply uh, the, the UK uh, Army, the UK Railway System, and the UK Police with, with this product. <clears throat> so, uh, I believe in, wo in World War One and Two, um, uh, the UK uh, Army worn a uh, Macintosh trench coat. This is very important because Kiko, for his new collection, right, for his uh, collaboration with Macintosh, he went back digged into a lot of these archives, he found a lot of pieces and took them and reworked it. And uh, it got so popular and it was selling so well to a point that the, that the company that was responsible for importing Macintosh is called a uh, Yagi Tsusho uh, Group or Limited. They actually uh, decided to acquire the company back in uh, 2007. Yeah, and um, the rest is history. They've been doing great. They opened the first flagship store. You know, fast forward to today, they've done collaboration with, you know, well, well nowadays it's the Mason Margiela collaboration that's, you know, been going on for a couple of seasons where the runway, some of the runway artisanal coats are handmade in, in, in the same Scotland uh, factory. And there's collaboration with Porter for the accessories. There's collaboration with Vedemon, Vedemon, uh, Balenciaga, well, the leaks, right? Matthew Williams, that's an awesome collection. And now we're gonna get into our collection with Kiko. So the 0001 collection uh, places a heavy emphasis on rubber, which makes sense because it is literally the foundation and the start of everything for Macintosh. So for this season, Kiko only chooses to use the color black on all the pieces because he wants us to focus on uh, the fabric innovation. So some of the fabric that were used in this collection are uh, uh, cashmere, um, nylon, and wool, and also rubber. Yeah. Uh, Kiko dig deep, deep, deep into the archive this season as he found uh, as he found a pair of military trousers that he remade into a wider leg look. He also reworked one of the Mac, the classic Mac coat, give it an inside out twist. So you might notice there are a lot of black tapes, shiny black tapes on the inseam of uh, a lot of the pieces, but that is its attempt to uh, to resemble the making process of a uh, classic Mac coat and the waterproofing process, where the tape, that's that's where the seam will come together. The shiny black tape also creates a contrast for both you know visual appeal as well as a mixture of different texture. So also, I personally do not own any pieces from this collection and I actually never seen one in person, I do believe that this might be my favorite collection because it reminds me a lot of the Yoji 2000 uh, Spring Summer collection. It's called Bad Asia. So instead of uh, black tapes, uh, the Yoji 2000 season used uh, seat belt. So you had the red and black actual seat belts on the detail of blazers, trousers, and coats. And uh, I have to tell you, it looks amazing. Since you know, the contrast, and on top of Yoji's are like already outstanding tailoring. So you know, uh, Kiko, everyone knows he's a big fan of Yoji. He openly like posts, you know, like Yoji pieces on his Instagram sometimes. And yeah, I think it's totally possible that uh, Kiko might have looked into the 2000 season or some other season of the Yoji, you know, work and uh, turned it into inspiration for this collection.
So, the 0002 collection is from uh, Spring Summer 2018 and uh, it places an emphasis on the special material of glass. So the model is seen in the lookbook standing on the glass display and some of them were wearing the glass cuff which is made in Sweden. And uh, this time Kiko is no longer limited to just using the color black. Uh, but the color is still simple, monotone, uh, reflects like the look of a, a uniform. And for the first time, Macintosh created the uh, rubberized bag, which uses the same technique as the original Mac code. The detail, uh, for example, the three, the triple button detail, as well as the color of the strap, all reminds me a lot of Kiko's own collection. And finally, my favorite thing from this collection has to be the little like lift up of the belt on the blazer, which uh, places the emphasis on your hip instead of uh, the usual waist, give it a very unique look. So for the 0003 collection, this is where things get a bit spiced up. Uh, in my opinion, this is the most fun collection out of all four. And the main character of this collection is Felt. So uh, it's inspired by uh, uh, this man by the name of Robert Morris. His work from the 1960s to 70s. And Felt, if many of you don't know, I didn't know for example before, it's actually a material made by uh, condensing and pressing different fabrics together. And it has to be specific fabric, for example, wool, and a couple different synthetic fabric. So you can think of the texture as, um, let's say, a pool table, or for example, the underneath your collar, there's always that material, or even the rainbow color coaster that everyone has at their house. So uh, uh, felt is not used a lot in clothes making, just because of its uh, scratchy nature, but Kiko still included it and did a beautiful job with it, uh, for example, in this large gray uh, flight coat. You can describe this collection as a large Halloween party, which is the theme of a mid-century mid uh, British railway station. Each look corresponds to a certain profession you might encounter in the station. For example, there are uh, policemen, there's labor, there's conductor, there's uh, engineer, and there's passengers. Kiko made all of these looks came alive, and this season, he also decided to play with proportions more. So you see a lot more oversized top garment paired with a high-waisted jeans. There's also a pair of uh, three-fourths length uh, military trouser that's paired with long socks and loafers. So the whole show was ended on the note of uh, this single piece, which is the orange uh, cape that is inspired by the UK police and made with the classic material of uh, rubberized uh, cotton. And finally, uh, a detail that I really like from the show is the little neck scarf it had on many different looks and I think it really adds, you know, adds an additional layer as well as complexity. So now I'll show you guys my first piece. I'm showing my pieces here because all three of the pieces I own from Macintosh Kiko collection is all from uh, 0003. So I might as well show it here. First piece. Ugh. This is the, the turtleneck that you see on the wrong way. Oh yeah, most of these pieces are all on the wrong way. It's very nice. You can see the stitching and stuff, you know, it comes together. It's very well done. You can see, you know, okay, I have to say, this is my most worn pieces, like for anything. I basically throw this on anytime I'm at home. Sometimes when I'm going to school, I don't really feel like dressing up, you know, I don't really try to put the drip on, you know, I, I, just put, I just throw this on. It's so comfortable. So first off, first off, look at the material. Okay, I, I'll show you the material. This is the softest material. I, I, I've never seen any nowhere like this. I don't know, it's just me. Like this material reminds me of a towel. Let me show you a quick comparison. Here's a hand towel, all right? Here's a hand towel. And um, yeah, you see, it's pretty much the same. And it's not even that soft. Like this is insane. This is insanely soft. This is so comfortable. Yeah, my only little issue is this. Well, oh, first of all, that's a really nice, like a big turtleneck, like really big turtleneck. I think I stretched it a lot too, just because I wear it so much. But the only problem is like, I guess this part, the neck part is a little bit small for me. So like every time I like put my head through, I kind of have to pull it through. Maybe just because I have a big head. Who knows? That's the first piece. All right, for the next two pieces, I'm going to sit back a little bit and then show you guys. So I'm going to show it together since it's pretty much a set. I'll start with the top. And bang! It's a cool furry jacket you see on the show. On the wrong way uh, it's, it's a little bit oversized this material is super nice it's like it's um it's alpaca wool 
it's al it's virgin alpaca blend was like wool, so it's super super nice. The color of the wool of the fur, like it looks absolutely beautiful. It features two zips at the at the end of the sleeves, and uh, there's also two zips right here. You know, right by the chest area. Obviously, there's like a big zip that opens it up. It's Macintosh 003. Yep, the coolest feature I think, oh, and there's also two pockets inside, just before I forget. Oh, one pocket. There's one pocket inside. So one of the coolest features, well, my favorite thing about it is this tail it got right here. So at the bottom, just like a spacesuit, you'll see it on body. But um, here's like a buckle that you can connect it to. And you can adjust the length of the tail. So right now, you know, it's pretty long, but then we can... So we can do this, we can stretch it open, and then it will get shorter. Right? So it will get shorter. Yep. That's the top. Really nice top. And then, here's the matching bottom, which is a lot of people might be here for. So this is allegedly, there's like three pieces. Yeah, so um, I've asked some friends who, you know, who know Kiko, who, um, who are experts, and they say that, uh, you know, never seen on market, you know, this is pretty much the only one. And there should be two other because people have only seen it before at uh on the kiko uh no, not kiko on macintosh website in the japanese store in another location but yeah there's like allegedly three pieces i'll be general i'll say like there's like five you know maybe maybe five but definitely no more than that so yeah so because on the wrong way you can see like the same material pants but it was like a it was more of a short so like a three four pants and these are long and big it features a side cargo pocket, a huge pocket. This pocket's huge. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is also very adjustable. Because you see, here's on both sides, there's these straps that you can adjust the waist. Yeah, so that's super nice. Here it is. Now let's get on to on body shots. <sighs> it's hot. guys also um the pants at the bottom area right here is experiencing experiencing a little bit of hair loss which is sad came from the previous owner some of the alpacas falling off but there's nothing we can do about that so for the 004 collection is for uh, spring summer 2019 it is the latest collection in the series and uh, each collection highlights the material. Well, by now we know that. And for this year, uh, for this uh, collection, it is lead. So that is taking inspiration from the artist Richard Serra's Splash series. Kiko also looked at the thriller uh, Gatacha, Gatacha or Gataka, uh, to design this collection. So I've actually seen that film. It's a thriller set in uh, like a parallel universe in the future, where uh, in the society DNA is the only thing that matters, that determines you know what job you get and etc. And the main character is a cleaner, and he was trying, he was stealing people's DNA, trying to get into this space program. So uh, this thriller and uh, interstellar uh, aesthetics is definitely carried into the collection. Uh, it's shown in like the background music of the lookbook. It sounds very futuristic and also slightly disturbing. And uh, the color combination on the bodysuit uh, in the collection is it reminds me a lot of an off-duty uh, uh, astronaut uniform and overall we have seen a lot of these um, two-tone pieces in this collection 
you know, using very uh, vibrant color, for example, orange, as well as, uh, it's like a dust orange, as well as like a sea green or a sea blue, that's what they describe it as. And overall, I think it's fair to say that this collection feels a lot more Kiko than Macintosh. But, but I'm not mad about it or anything, you know. I think it's actually very happy for me to see such a you know, traditional brand showcase such a futuristic wardrobe and uh, yeah, make me quite proud and make me just really looking forward to what British fashion is going to become. Oh, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share with all your friends. And uh, if you like the pieces I just talked about, there is an outlet store right now on the, on the Macintosh website. I highly suggest you check it out. There's a bunch of past, uh, uh, past collection pieces just laying around. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next episode. Come join us in